Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Chris Branley Art. I am going to show you how I ship a painting or get it packaged up and ready to ship. I have a lot of artists who ask me how to do this and um, there's just a few things that I do just to take precautions to make sure that the painting's not gonna get damaged. And I also wanna present it in a way that looks professional and inviting. So today, I have to ship this painting off, Parisian Carnival. And it's just a little miniature six by six. And um, I am gonna go ahead and package it, it in this little clear sleeve or clear bag. You can get these at any art supply store. Well, I say any. So um, I know Hobby Lobby carries them. Uh, I'm not sure about some of the other ones. But anyway, I got this one at Hobby Lobby. You can also go online and check out clearbags.com and they've got all kinds of bags and mats and packaging type of materials um, that will help with your shipping. I always wanna make sure that I send a thank you card. Um, I'm always very appreciative to my collectors when they purchase a painting. And so this one I had printed, it's one of my paintings that I had printed. Um, you can go to any on demand online and um, get things like that printed. Uh, as long as you have a good high resolution photo of your artwork. So typically I'll write a thank you card and include a business card. And also it's important to protect the painting. So my paintings are oils. And one thing that you wanna take note of is not to ever use or take bubble wrap and put it directly on your painting because that's gonna leave little marks in your painting. So what I do is use this archival parchment paper. Um, you can use the, the cooking sheets um, or just parchment paper that you purchase on, you know, you can get them in an art store or wherever. And I'm just gonna lay that flat over the surface of the painting. And you can either do it a little bit bigger than your painting or you can go the same size. In this case, I went just a little bit bigger just because I do have these cradled edges. So if it was just a flat surface, I would probably just cut it to size, but I'm just taking it to kind of wrap around my edges a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is slip it inside this clear sleeve. Now this one, I've gone a little bit bigger as well than the size of the painting, just because again, it's got those cradled edges that are like uh, an inch and a half. So I'm using an eight by 10 clear sheet or clear bag. So let's get this covered. So I'm just kind of folding down the edges just to keep them nice and neat. And then we can put little pieces of tape around those edges just to kind of hold those on there. Take that all the way around. And I'm trying to make sure that I don't get those onto the actual cradled edges itself because I don't want that tape pulling on the finish. So this is, this is just gonna kind of hold this together. Okay, and so once that's done, that's protected. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slip that into the clear bag. So this is all about just the presentation of the piece and just making it look neat while also kind of protecting the surface. And before I seal that up, I'm gonna go ahead and slip my business card and my note card into the sleeve there. And these have these little strips that you can pull.
Okay, and then we'll just kind of seal that down. And then I like to add a little special touch. So let's put a little bow on here. Just make it extra special. And I'll usually just pick a color that is in the painting. So this Parisian carnival has got lots of pink. So it's just kind of a nice added touch, something to kind of go along with the colors of the painting. And a nice little bow on there. Okay, so now we're ready to really package it up and protect the corners. So I always save these little corner pieces whenever I order frames, and these usually come on the frames. I'm sure you can probably buy them at a frame shop as well. Um, sometimes, let's see, that fits on there pretty good. So I'm just gonna slip these along all four of these corners and that's gonna really help to protect those corners during shipping because you definitely don't want things banging up against your box and messing up those corners. So we're just gonna make sure that that's nice and snug. And then it's time for the bubble wrap. Now the bubble wrap can be put around the painting because it's protected and that'll ensure that we don't get those little bubble marks left along the, the painting. So you can either tape it or you can use this packaging cellophane. Um, it makes it kind of easy. So just kind of pull out a little piece and kind of get that ready to wrap. So we'll take that edge. I like how it just kind of sticks to itself. And I want to make sure I pull this nice and taut. This makes it a little bit easier than having to constantly pull that tape. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and flip these up. And I am gonna tape these just because I think it's gonna be easier to control. And that also add, adds extra cushion on those corners. Okay, so let's get the other side. And now we're ready to stick this in a box. So usually I sell through my website and it goes through PayPal and PayPal has the option to um, click on a packaging sheet. So you can print that out and include it into your um, package. And then also I like to make sure that I print out a certificate of authenticity Okay, so that has the copyright information, it's got my signature, the date that it was painted. So it's just nice to kind of include that in your, your work. And I also do a little note on how to care for your painting. So basically you don't want oils or any paint to be left in sunlight because sunlight can fade your painting. Um, if you're using canvas, you never want anything to lean against that canvas or it'll create a dent. So I just include different information like that about how to dust it off with a soft dry cloth if necessary. And the fact that the copyright and reproduction rights belong to the artist. So it's really important that you mention that um, because people just need to be educated. They just don't know that um, they can't buy a painting and then go and have it copied and make prints. Um, so the copyright does remain with the artist. So that information is included and then I'll just fold these together 
and place them in a little envelope. Okay, and then this box is a little bit bigger on the edges, but we're gonna be using these little air pocket bubbles um, just to protect all the way around the edges. So let's put our little box together. And Walmart usually has a pretty good selection of boxes that are for that are flat, because you know, um, sometimes it's hard to find. And a lot of the boxes are those really big moving boxes, which are not really conducive to flat paintings. So either these, or um, sometimes I'll just go by the post office and pick up a um, priority mail box. They've got small, medium, and large. So basically they, char they don't charge you to get the box and it's just pretty much one price for whatever you can fit into that box to ship it. So this one is an eight by 11 and three quarters by four and three fourths. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bottom of this taped up. Let's move the painting here and make this a little bit easier on myself. I've never really been great with tape, as you can see. For some reason, it just gets out of control. All right. So there's the bottom. So what I want to do now is put something soft or cushy along the bottom edge. So I can either take these little um, sealed air pockets and put those in, but actually I'm going to save these for the side. So the other thing you can do is take more bubble wrap and I'm just going to take that and lay that down at the bottom so it's got a nice cushion. And then we'll set the painting down in here. And then I'm going to take a couple of these little pockets and put those on either side and then we'll go with some more bubble wrap lay that on top okay we've got the little envelope that's got our certificate of authenticity and how to care for your painting and it's time to seal it off All right, let's see if we can do a better job this time here with the tape. I like to go a little extra, make sure all these edges are sealed. And then I can just go on PayPal where they purchased it, print out the packing slip, and get that all taped on there and then we're ready to go. So um, it's you know kind of a daunting thought to ship your painting, but really it's not that big of a deal once you know how to do it. I hope this video was helpful for you and uh, you'll get a bunch of paintings sold and shipped off. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media.